Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Well, this is it, a final video, at least for this round, on here. And thank you so much, as always, for your continued suggestions. Uh, those of you that keep posting them on the comments, and those of you that have sent me messages as well. I do read everything on there. If you haven't seen yours picked yet, again, please do not worry. You will have yours uh, looked at and reviewed later on on there uh, during future rounds. So it is by no means, no chance that yours will be picked. And as proof as this, um, this particular crypto was actually a suggestion that was done a couple of months back under one of the other previous uh, videos where I had um, asked for your suggestions on here. So again, proof positive that if you don't see anything yet here, um, you could see it then in the future. I have forgotten how cool and how original this suggested cryptid was. And so when I was reviewing the suggestions again from the past, and I came across this again, I realized that I definitely have to talk about this one. And this particular cryptid follows the theme associated with a plant-like cryptid. So much like the one that I had just talked about, the vegetable lamb of Tartary, this particular cryptid again is associated with another plant and this one is known as the hungry grass uh, the hungry grass also has a particular Irish name and that goes by the name the fear Gortak and basically it's pretty easy to surmise what this particular cryptid is it's essentially a patch of cursed grass that if you walk across this particular grass if you're one of those unlucky souls that there you are just randomly enjoying your day just taking a walk taking a breeze and you happen to walk about this grass on here the minute you cross it then you are perpetually doomed to have um, what's called an insatiable hunger so you will always be hungry afterward in other words it's apparently a curse of some sort so it's it's a lot like um, something that kinda like the video I had made a couple of months back um, with regards to the genius Loki where if you came across a particular piece of land and you ran into the genius Loki then you were in some trouble on that part the same thing on here too um, if you come across a, this particular uh, set of, of cursed grass then you are cursed to essentially always have some kind of hunger that can never go away on there very very fascinating stuff this is all apparently um, coming from an Irish mythology of sorts and it all derives from an actual real-life occurrence so um, real quickly though the hungry grass well, the mythology part think of this um, you know how we all envision the personification of death as something with a cloak either a dark purple or a black light cloak with a skeleton face and then with that um, I think they call it a scythe that device that essentially is used to cut hay that's the personification of death that you and I know of uh, at least when it comes to a uh, visual representation well in Irish mythology they have a personification for hunger and what it is is it's essentially something called the fear gota um, and it's essentially a uh, think of it as an emaciated human which you kind of see a picture of here a very nasty looking thing um, this is a something it could be paranormal it could be mythological it's something that comes out of the earth and essentially comes out of this grass and when it comes out of that grass it spreads mass hunger throughout the world um, so it's not a particularly a delightful thing. Um, it's not there to create good news. It is there to create havoc. And the grass comes into play because whichever area that this uh, fear gorda decides to essentially come out of the ground from during this era, um, it'll come out of the grass and that grass then becomes cursed. It becomes a hungry grass and it stays as hungry grass thereafter on there. So if for example this um, fear gorda this mythological creature if it rises say out of a spot here in texas or over there in ireland or out of a patch of grass in africa it could be anywhere but once it does and it goes about ensuring that it can spread its famine as much as possible 
then uh, when that happens the grass that comes out of becomes that new cursed spot and that's what makes it so hard and kind of uh, creepy at the same time is the fact that you'll never know when this phantom essentially comes out of the ground because it's not something you can see it's not something you can feel it's not something you can hear it just comes out it does its thing and then it goes away and so nobody really knows where this grass is associated thereafter only by probably coincidence of many people essentially being hungry in and around the area on there so the real life occurrence that this is tied to apparently in the it looks like it was the mid 1800s there was a great famine that's called the great irish famine that occurred in ireland and that's another name for it is also the irish potato famine and essentially what happened was um, much of the population there at that point uh, worked towards either I guess building potato livestock I'm sorry potato crops and much of their livestock and the humans there um, living off of the potatoes and it was to the point where uh, I think it was somewhere around 50 60 percent of 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 the entire industry the entire um, food everything was just tied to the potato but what had happened was there was a disease it's a long name but it goes by the name of phytopathora infestans um, I hope I'm saying that right phytopathora infestans um, came about and this disease did not affect the humans but rather not the humans nor the animals but rather the potato itself so here you have an economy that is almost exclusively tied to the potato and you have it as a very very high source of food again probably taking about fifty to seventy percent of everybody's food that they would eat because it was so cheap to make it was so cheap to produce and it was so so cheap to eat and all of a sudden that the potato is this disease was rotting it away it was essentially um, destroying the potatoes left and right and there you have a very large portion of society that is suddenly hungry uh, because their number one resource of food is gone and when that happens and they had nothing else that they were using and growing at the time at least in as large a multitude as the potato was then you had a large society that went hungry to the point that a lot of people died in fact um, it's pretty it was uh, estimated that during this particular famine about one million people died so that is humongous one million people died because of the effects of one potato disease in other words on there so because of that people associated this great famine with that mythological creature this phantom of hunger known as the fear gorda and that's why the hungry grass came about because uh, according to the mythology this fear gorda caused this great famine this great Irish famine and it when it came out of the ground um, anybody that was in and around the area was cursed to become hungry and probably cursed to have the effects of hunger caused by something in this case being the loss of the potato as a great resource to 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 eat from on there so pretty interesting stuff um, apparently there is a way to break the curse associated with the hungry grass on there all you have to do is anyone walking through it who suddenly feels um, that they are hungry but not the normal hungry but instead it's something that's dreadful that you'll know that hey you know this thing won't go away it's kind of hard to describe it but you know how you get that sixth sense whenever that anxiety that comes up whenever something doesn't feel right and so if you have that with this particular hunger the best way to uh, absolve this curse is to just carry a bit of food along the way um, according to the article I read if you have anything sandwich if you have chips if you have crackers if you have popcorn whatever as long as it's something that's right then and there and you eat it um, along the way across this uh, cursed patch of grass then you will not be cursed and that's it and that's all you have to do so apparently um, having food um, is the complete I guess you call it kryptonite 
of this fear gordo and that way this particular mythological creature will not have its curse latch onto you through the hunger grass on there so again pretty pretty interesting uh cryptid on along here very original i had no idea something like this actually existed or people thought existed on there no recent tales unfortunately associated with the hungry grass or um, i was trying to see if there was anywhere people can confirm is a patch of this cursed grass but nothing comes about on there but if anyone has any more information on this you know please post your comments share them below with everybody so what do you guys think the hungry grass is it about as out there when it comes to cryptids as possible very very interesting stuff so again proof positive that um, your suggestions if they're not picked right now they could be picked later on so as always thank you everybody take care